Here we have one of our 427s, 500 horsepower small block Fords. I uh, just did some dyno pulls on it, doing a valve train inspection. Uh, as you can see, it's got Scorpion roller rockers. This has got the Dark Pro One cylinder heads. It's got a 4340 crank, H beam rod, custom Jamie pistons. It's a hydraulic roller motor. We have that ground by Comp, comp Cams for us. It's got tool steel rings. This has got a front sump Canton oil pan on it. It's going in a Cobra. It's got the March serpentine belt set up on it. All later we make sure it gets correct output out, functioning properly. It's got a Edelbrock air gap, quick fuel SS750, MSD Pro billet distributors, custom wires. Naturally we tune it up here the best we can. Highly recommend installing an O2 in your vehicle. And when you get it, there'll be a tag on the distributor. It'll have all the specifications, the timing and stuff. When you first fire it up, make sure those specifications are correct. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Very, very important. It could have got hit in shipping when you installed it, something of that nature. So very, very crucial to check that. So you'll get a build sheet, all the specifications of the build. There again, if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Yeah, we'll button her back up, make some more pulls. Done, made all our dyno poles here happy with everything uh, next thing we're going to do is what we call a smoke check we rev it up and then get off the throttle really fast create a high vacuum uh, make sure there's no smoke coming out of the exhaust pipe to good and clean and stuff so uh, a couple things we'll go over here real fast is here's your dyno sheet you basically we rate this motor at 500 horsepower 500 foot pounds of torque so uh, over the last couple of years, we've definitely done some improvements uh, as far as the torque, uh, and that's what we really feel it counts and stuff. So uh, the horsepower, it, without a, a front end on it, it's right at 500. So naturally, with a front end on it, we're pulling a load on the alternator and everything. That's about 20 horsepower. Uh, usually, we've done some quite a bit of testing on that. So uh, I'll give you a kind of a glance here. We'll go down here. So here's your torque column scan over here so you can see the RPM. So 2,500 makes 461 foot-pounds of torque. Very impressive. And as you can see, it starts stacking 500s, 500s. So it makes uh, peak torque right there. Uh, 524 foot-pounds torque, 3,800. Pretty good. And then we'll go up into the horsepower. Yeah, look like about 485 at 5,500. So that's right within specification. So uh, basically had to do some jet changing on this carburetor here. So we, we took three jets out of it. You'll get a quick fuel box that will have a, a jet uh, chart in it and stuff, bleed chart, things of that nature. And you'll see in there what jet we went to. So you can kind of make sure to keep those files and stuff. So uh, we'll go ahead and fire her up here. 